Hello, I'm Ken Miller from Pan Intelligence. I want to take this opportunity to take you through some simple config today. What we're going to do is we're going to set up some category objects. Here we have a page. Now this page is set up and it's got these category objects across the top. And these category objects are used as a really quick, simple way to filter the data. So I can go in here and I can have a look at the data just for Midlands and Peterborough. You can see I've got no data over there for that particular set of, of data in there but I can very quickly use these things to drag and drop and create these filter items however I want to to allow the user to interact, find and search and replace data. Now this is obviously us looking at the, the dashboard through the eyes of the web application, but these filters are available just in the same way through the mobile application, so the responsive application as well. So I can come in here and I can pick and I can search and, and find the data in exactly the same way through the objects. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we create these and how we define these within the dashboard. So really easy to set up and, and create. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my configuration screen here. and I'm going to come to my categories and I'm going to create a new category in here to show you this. So I'm going to create a category called category objects. And I'm not going to have to do anything funny to that at all. All I'm going to do is change this position slightly so it appears in a, in a different place within the dashboard. So if I save that, it'll do exactly as you're used to. Created a category there. I've now got a standard empty 4x4 grid to go and create the charts. What I'll do is rather than creating any charts from scratch, I'm just going to come in and remove those objects from there. Go into my chart library and I'm going to go to my footfall page here and just drag and drop a chart out on the page. Now just before I show you how to create these categories, I'm going to show you one little trick, which is in the same way as we can create our variable filters and filter nice and quickly within the dashboard. I can also dynamically create the category objects really quickly by going in and dragging them up to the top of the page. Now these are actually just created temporarily, so if I re reset, refresh, they're removed in the same way as the filters that are applied are just session filters there. The category object session filters are exactly the same. So what we actually want to do is we want to create some to sit up there full time so that they're for everybody. And the way to do this is to come into the configuration screen. Now, if my category wasn't open, I'd just open it here. And it's this panel down at the bottom here that we want to take a look at. So what I do is I go into my retail new data connection here, just pick up my objects, the same objects that I'll be using in charts, and I can drag and drop these, drop, drag and drop these objects into my category objects panel. So I'm going to bring out the region. I'm going to bring out the store name. So drag and drop that into there. I'm going to bring out the salesperson as well. So I've got the salesman there. Drag and drop that onto there. Now I'm going to leave all the detail defaults exactly as they are for the time being. We're going to do another video which shows you slightly more um, configuration that will show you what all of these items do. But for now, we're going to keep it nice and simple. So all I have to do is save that, ob that category now. If I come into here, and just click the rebuild category tabs. I'll have my category objects page at the top here. And if I go into this one here where I've got my chart, I've now got all of the different category objects up here and they just work in exactly the same way as I was showing you a second ago. So I can go into here and I can find any one of these items filter. They work with all the other different items within there. If I click reset, they'll reset themselves back to the, to the top level. And if I take that filter off there, that's how you do that and essentially that's all there is to creating these category objects so if I just go in quickly a bit again back into the configuration screen and show you how I set that up so if I come back into the categories page here I've got the category objects have a look take a look at them there they're set up they're just dragged and dropped in if I decide that I want to bring another object into here so I go back to my data connections and go back into my retail new and let's bring in something like um, our sales date into here. Drag and drop that down onto there. Set up, save it, rebuild my, my tabs, go back to my category objects here. And I now have that sales date in there. So I can quickly go and pick the, the month that I want and find that data within there. So they're nice and quick and easy to add into the into the dashboard and users find them a very quick and easy way to filter their charts. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that really useful. 
If you need any more information about category objects, check out our other videos or feel free to contact us. Thanks again. Bye.